Welcome, welcome, uh, welcome to our second episode of Madcap Mobile Movie Review um, Montage. And rock on, dude, let's just get to it. Alright, second on the list is Toy Story 1. Um, I love all the Toy Stories, but the first one I probably love uh, the most came out in 1995. The movie was a groundbreaking success. It grossed over $373 million globally, which back then was quite a big deal. One of the first um, real complete CGI movies. They had experimented with one or two shorts before then, so when it um, hit the screen, it was a big deal. Steve Jobs was the money man behind it all. He backed them, it looks great. So, created by Pixar uh, Animation, distributed by Walt Disney Pictures. Um, it's part of the Toy Story franchise that obviously kicked it off. Directed by a guy called John Lasseter, obviously a very clever guy. Uh, and it follows the adventures of toys that come to life when humans aren't around. Yeah, okay, that kind of sounds plausible because it just, honestly, in the child's mind, I think it would sound pretty plausible. Toy Story's um, first full-length animated feature was uh, released end of uh, 1995. Woody is the pull string cowboy doll and Buzz Lightyear, the space-themed action figure. They navigate the challenges of being toys while contending with the arrival of the latest toy to Andy's collection, which was actually Buzz Lightyear, so there's a bit of kind of jealousy going on there. I'd say sibling rivalry, except they're not brothers as such. Um, the voice cast is um, really exceptional. It's Tom Hanks as Woody, he's well known. Tim Allen, another comedian, as Buzz Lightyear, he nails it. And uh, a guy from my vintage, Don Rickles, as Mr. Potato Head. Gotta love that name. Uh, the film score is composed by Randy Newman. Uh, and it's notable for the song, You've Got a Friend in Me. <laughs> You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend... Okay, I can't sing that well, but you get the idea. It became iconic, wonderful um, song and theme to go with this family-friendly movie. Can't recommend it too highly. If you haven't seen it, get it out. Show it to the kids while they're still young so that they can ask to re-see it. Okay, that's number two on the list. So remember to eat my thumbnail, eat, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for feeding all of our hungry puppets by doing that. Amen. All right.